I'm very happy and excited to introduce to you the M5C from Anchormaker. Currently priced at £399 if you're in the UK of course, and for what it is I think it's a really good price. Now for a long time I've kind of given up on 3D printing, mainly because of all the time it takes to tinker away with all the settings. In the past it took me hours to print anything and I had to keep experimenting and I would look up on forums and see what people were doing, trying again, failing again, it was an absolute pain. Now that's all fine if you're one of those really technical type people that really likes trying things out, tinkering, practicing and coming up with the absolutely perfect print. And honestly, I really appreciate those sort of people. If you are one of those, thank you very much because you share your results and you tell us about how you're getting on and we can then learn from you. But really that's not me. I'm a 3D artist and I want to be able to get my 3D model and print it out. I kind of want it to be like a paper printer. You know, you press print and the paper comes out with your print on it. And ideally that would happen fairly quickly. I know that's impossible with 3D printing, but fairly quickly would be nice. Well, I'm delighted to say that we are definitely one step closer to that with Anchormaker's M5C. So I was sent this printer a couple of weeks ago and straight out of the box, it was quite nice and easy to assemble, which is a big plus. Maybe I'm getting slightly more experienced, I don't know, but I found it really easy. I think it took about 15 minutes in total. I wasn't really timing it or rushing it, but I just started putting it together. I was kind of filming bits and pieces as well, but before I knew it, it was all there and all ready to go. I suppose the one thing that I have learned is that when you're feeding the filament in, you have to push it right to the end and then you press this little button and uh, you push it in that bit further. That bit is always a little bit stiffer than you might imagine and you might think you're getting it wrong. You just push fairly hard and it will go in. And that's the same with most 3D printers I feel. Then the rest of the setup is done on your phone and I quite like that. You just download the software, you connect your printer up and all the instructions are there for you. The only thing I had to kind of look up in a sense was how to actually feed the filament in and that's an automatic process. It was just a case of pressing a few buttons in the program on the phone, but I had to quickly look on their site and check out a video to make sure I was doing that right. I didn't want to get anything wrong. And that actually is my only criticism. It would have been nice to have that information in the program rather than having to go on the site just to make sure I was doing the right thing. And it was a little bit difficult to find the video on the site. It took like two clicks or something. <laughs> it's difficult for me. Once that was all set up, it's ready for printing. They have their own slicer program. So obviously you get your 3D model and you put it into a slicer program and that sorts it out ready for printing. I think they do have lots of models that you can print out yourself, but I'm obviously wanting to print out my own stuff, being the wonderful 3D artist that I am. Their 3D slicer program was really simple, especially for people like me that just want to press print. I started with Boaty McBenchface or whatever you call this thing. I dragged the file into the slicer program, press slice and then press print and away we went. And I was fully prepared for failure because that's what always happens with these things. They never seem to work first time of asking and you have to tinker with all the settings like I've been saying. I didn't even bother recording that bit because I thought there'd be loads of troubleshooting as there always is. Now it did actually come back saying, do you want to auto level the bed? And of course I ticked yes and then just left it to print. I went away, had some food, checked my phone for progress to see how the auto leveling was going. I think that took about 10 minutes or so and then checked the progress on my print. And within a few minutes, it came out with this absolutely fantastic print. I'm sure with the other printers I've used, although it has been a while since I have printed, it would have taken at least an hour, probably over to print something like this. It was done within a few minutes. I couldn't believe how fast it did. And it's a really, what I would consider a great print. So at this point I was getting very excited and want to try out one of my own models. Now I know enough about 3D printing to know that this model needs support because there are some long overhanging areas. But again, I just tick the box with supports and press slice, then print. This time I recorded the process so you can see how nice and easy it is. And I was really impressed with how fast the extruder was moving. It's very impressive seeing it shoot around the place. And it's quite amazing to see your print emerge so quickly. You can actually print at lower speeds if you do get any problems or you need more detail for some reason. And you can go into the advanced settings if you want to tinker and play with the settings in any way. And here's the results. It was absolutely fantastic. There was a tiny bit of stringing across the ears, not much, and it just scrubbed away nice and easily. Nothing to worry about there. Of course, there's a little bit of roughness where the supports met the tail and maybe just under the chest. That's kind of unavoidable with supports, it seems. But I'm really happy with the quality of this print. I think it looks fantastic. And it was all done within 45 minutes. I cannot believe how quickly that's done it. And it looks so great. Now, not only is this printer super fast, but it also has a precision mode. And you can see a bit of that here. Apparently this is powered by an advanced variable layer height slicing algorithm. So it ensures precision print even at high speeds. By precisely controlling the flow, the M5C can achieve a layer height of 0.05 millimeters. 
with a 0.2 millimeter nozzle. And it's still really fast, even in precision mode. So I'm really happy with the results, really happy with my new printer. It's made me excited about the prospect of 3D printing again. So well done Anchor Maker on making a true beginner level and beginner friendly fast desktop printer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.